today's video, we are talking about the ABCs of freebies. <laughs> and let's just get started right now. Hey everyone, my name is Lorianne. If you are new or returning, welcome here to Self Primary. We talk teacher side hustles, mainly TPT and boom. And this is a continuation of talking about quality products. And as I've been going through my own store, looking at products that I, I actually uploaded a product back in 2017, a freebie, no longer there. Yeah, I actually removed it a couple years back. But looking at the freebies going, uh, not so good. But I finally, th I thought, like, can we do this in a cool, uh, you know, style? So I'm talking about the ABCs. There are many ways to make freebies. Um, many people, if you scroll the most recent uploads, you know, a one page, yeah, black and white. Mm. We all do it. I think TPT should put out a little, they have a TPT university, but I think they should put out a, you know, this is what a freebie should look like. <laughs> That's why I'm doing it. Anyways, so let's start with the letter A. A stands for audience. As I said, there are many ways to make freebies. A lot of people make a freebie that is generic, that they can give, you know, that's, oh, you know, available to anyone. But honestly, if you are going to be making something very specific in your store, then make your freebie specific to that audience. For me, being K to two, my freebies should be addressed to K to two teachers, knowing what their needs are, what, you know, those pain points that they have, let's make a freebie that they're actually going to need. Not like what I did in the past, just upload it. Hey, I got a page, upload it, right? Don't do that because as I said before, freebies are a introduction, an introduction to you and you, your products. And if you just throw up some random page with no care or quality to it, you've just told your audience, this is how I make products and you don't want that. B is for benefit. How is this going to benefit the person who's downloading it? Where's the value in this uh, product or resource? But think about the value how does this, how is this going to benefit, make the teacher's life easier? How, how is it going to do that? Again, as an introduction, if your prospective buyers see in, within even your freebies that you are providing value to them, they are going to probably follow your store, okay? And wait for that next, that first paid product to come. So benefits are going to be huge. It's going to have value, okay? And C is for clarity, clear. Make sure that it is free from errors, if all possible, right? I know we're not perfect, but as make it make it as good as you can. Clear as in does it possibly need an answer key, right? <laughs> I I I I've talked about my story about one product I bought, okay? Make sure it is absolutely clear. And, you know, an extra little C, you know, if, can you make it a little creative? Um, add some nice fonts, clip art, things again. Remember, you got to flatten and secure your clip arts and fonts. But if at all possible, dress it up. Okay, so those are the ABCs. Treat your freebie as if it's a paid product. Okay. Because I think that's what happens is I think we have one mindset for a freebie and then one mindset for our paid product. No, treat your freebie like it's paid. Okay, so the moment you know that you're putting a price tag on a product, you know you got to add value to it. You know you got to add, right? It's got to make it worth that price. Think of it that way. Because if, again, if you think of it, ah, oh, it's free. You get this kind of laissez-faire attitude, whatever, right? Don't do that, if possible. One of the advantages also to freebies is that you can use your freebies for other things. It doesn't have to just be uploaded onto TPT. You can use freebies as a way to uh, generate uh, email subscribers. 
maybe offer a freebie. You want to be careful with offering too many freebies because then they just will take your freebies and not have to buy. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> In the corner of my eye, I can see this cat. <laughs> In your mind, do a little bit of research and think of what are possible things, what you can make and create them as freebies. The other thing is that freebie can be a huge upsell to a bigger product. Make sure your freebie is a standalone, that they don't have to buy that bigger product in order to use it. I've seen those. Don't do that. You want to make this a product, again, of value that is creative, engaging, so that these people who download it will come back and that's what you want in the long run in the long run and that's what you have to think about freebies not short term long term games long term games okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to turn the camera around and i'm going to highlight some freebies i put a post out into the facebook group side hustle help for tbt and boom and said you know if anyone have some freebies i can share on this video and I had a, I had three I think offer I'm going to show them to you right now and we're going to just quickly look at them we're going to look for the ABCs we're going to look to see who is the audience who is their audience we're going to look to see what benefit this product is going to serve the people who are downloading it I see people I don't I used to see teachers a lot we're getting other audiences and that was something that when I excel took over TBT they wanted to expand like the homeschooling community welcome if you're here is it clear creative okay so the ABCs so let's turn the camera around and look at some freebie uh, teachers freebie and it is uh, has a lot of value based on what I've already seen I would uh, change the title a little bit the word that you most want to um, rank for should be first and free is not one of these words that people can rank very well on so I would put free B at the end of this as opposed to at the front as well um, we don't tend to say singular and regular plural nouns we just usually say singular and plural nouns so I would get rid of the word regular you want to make sure you're putting in words that people are searching for so if I type here, singular, and see how it's coming up, singular and plural nouns, you want to use the words that are in the suggestions. So I would get rid of the word regular in there. Um, grammar game, I don't, let's see what grammar game shows up as. Grammar, see grammar game doesn't show up, but I think if you wrote PowerPoint, Actually, PowerPoint game doesn't show up either. I need to go back to grammar game. Yeah, grammar games does come up. Okay, yeah, so keep grammar game. But yeah, I would move free. Also, I would not just use one grade, even though you've said kindergarten up here. Kindergarten looks very different in different countries. And one, one case in point is kindergarten is in some states is the same age as our grade ones in where I live. So we actually wouldn't teach them in kindergarten. We would teach it in grade one. So I would actually change this to K to two. Oh, and one other thing, just reading your description, which or, or some places refer to it as ELL, I would actually put kindergarten or el esl ell in there as what well. you know have them both show the options but you're giving a lot of value here you've got a powerpoint game you've got a uh, google slides version of it and you've got the printable task cards so this is great this is great value and you've already got some good downloads which is good also see down here that it is included in a larger product. So you've got that. And you've got how to play the game, reasons why. And I think I saw how many, maybe I saw it in here. Yeah, you've got 25 slides, Google Slides, PowerPoint versions, and then printable task cards. So that's great. Yeah, I know it's excellent. And you've, you've already upgraded or upsold it into a, a um, 
bundle here. I'm not sure whether I have to, I, have, I forgot to look whether we're allowed to put PDF previews or, or video previews in our freebies. I think we're allowed to do one of them. And I would, I would do one again and then talk about the bundle that is available with that. Okay, but Viral Teacher looks great. This is their freebie. If you take a mouse to school, book companion for Google Slides. Again, I would remove freebie and put it at the end. I like how you've used the trademark here with Google Slides. If you take a mouse to school, could be a copyright. Could be a trademark too. Actually, I'm not sure. You'd have to, I'd have to look that, I'd look the, into that a little bit. But um, yes, put freebie at the end. I think if you take a mouse to school is searched if, yeah, it's right there. So it comes up right away. If you take mouse to school, if you take a mouse to school. Ah, okay. Uh, K to three is your level. Um, just one of the things that I'm noticing is just watch your fonts especially this one. You, again, if you're working with kindergarten students, they are five and six years old, you want to make sure everything is clear to read. At grade three, that font would, I think, would be fine. But at kindergarten, I would say it's not. This is cute. Um, you've got 38 pages. It's just plenty big for a freebie. You just look at your preview. Yeah, you've got a lot here for a freebie. Again, TPT recommends you know no more than ten pages. Um, but if you're happy with keeping this as a freebie, that's fine. One of the things uh, you want to watch for in related products, they recommend no more than five. So maybe you would mention uh, if you have done any more uh, Laura Numeroff's books, you could just have them here. Um, if you have a bundle, if this is if you're going to put this freebie in a bundle, which you can of standards. One of the things to remember, it's going to ask, did you meet all the learning outcomes that you said it will? And for a freebie, that's a lot. So be very careful uh, how many you put. I would I honestly wouldn't put this many. I would probably put no more than about five. Find the five best ones to highlight because again, this these all these standards. But other than that, it's you got a nice looking freebie and a lot. Is Miss Bokin Boknia's classroom? Sorry if I just butchered your name. And again, uh, titles. Remove free sample of. Start it with sight, word, close, reading passages for first grade. Actually, I would say you could start it with first grade. You could say first grade, sight, word, close, reading passages, and then the word freebie. But you've got a thumbnail. You've got um, you've got some good thumbnails cover. You could do a preview if you wanted to. You've got a you've got a fair amount of, of downloads. That's good. And you've got some ratings, excellent. And you are including it in a bundle, excellent. Whoops, what happened there? Included one sight word assessment, four passages with pictures, four passages without pictures. Okay. And, you, and I see that you've got nine pages. Again, that's ideal in TPT's eyes. This is one you could easily uh, submit to TPT and have it in the newsletter. You've got one common core standard, that's great. And you've got the full resource. Yeah, so you're upgrading or up selling to a something bigger. And you got a recent five-star review, excellent. Okay, yeah, no, this looks great too. Again, I would um, probably put another preview I like how you're up close with your pictures here, with and without visual support, four free passages. Yeah, looks really good. But again, I would change the wording. Just get rid of that, those three, so that these, and or like I said, 
First grade sometimes works good at the front. You can do first grade sight word, close reading, as I mentioned, or you could even do sight word, close reading passages, grade one. And then you've got K to two there. Yeah. Again, nicely done. Thank you for sharing. These are, you know, these were excellent examples. Um, I was going to put my, one of my bad ones in, <clears throat> time permitting, but yeah, that just didn't happen. That's okay. I'll show you a bad freebie. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm going to talk a little bit more about freebies, not in the next video or two, um, but I'll, I'll talk about them again as I'm working through some of mine and, and how I'm upgrading some of my freebies. I'm back at school. Actually, this week is a optional week for us. We don't get paid to, for the summer. So technically, I don't get paid until the day after Labor, you know, September 1st. There are probably, I don't know, maybe five or six teachers in the building. I'm exhausted. I'm just, you know, I never properly moved in last year. You know, if you heard my story, I went into my room on the last day of school, my new room on the last day of school, and the person didn't move, move their stuff out because they said they didn't know where they're going and they just left it. They they apologized, we're good. But it didn't, you know, I still didn't feel like I properly moved in. 80% of the stuff in my garage was still teacher stuff, and I moved some of it in. I've moved a lot more of it in, but... Um, I, actually, I'll show you. I'll insert a little clip of my room right here. Uh, day one, I worked mainly on cleaning my inside of my desk. It doesn't look so good in this video. And then I started the teacher cupboard. Moved furnace. Most of the furniture is moved to where it should be. And then day two, I just finished day two. Day uh, I worked finished that cupboard. Oh my goodness, that cupboard looks lovely now. I got to put some labels on some of the boxes, but. Um, other than that, it's done, and I've started books, and I've already put about 12 or 13 books. I've almost got to the letter M, I think I got the letter M or N, and so they're done, and they're all lab properly labeled inside. That you see, and if you see the alphabet, it, they're not leveled books. They're actually just letter labeled books, as far as the alphabet, um, whatever the title of the book was or the theme of the book. We did it by that letter, right? If there's a dog on the cover, it's a D book, right? That's all I've done. This is the last time I'm changing my books. Anyways, yeah, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired, but um, happy to be back and looking forward to the school year. Um, like I said, we this week is optional, so um, I'm taking it one day off. I have to drive my parents around. And then I'll be back in to see how much more I can get done. I may not get it all done, but already I'm like already in a feeling in a happier space because things are organized. Even one of my upper cupboards is almost already done. It's like, ah. So, I mean, it, it you know, teacher's life is never ending that way. But anyways, next week's video, if it might be next week, it might be the week after, is a... Uh, let's make boom cards from scratch video. I haven't done one in over a year. It might be a year and a half. So I'll do that. And then I've got a, some more um, high quality product. But, and then I've got uh, some keyword tools that I have been looking at for since mid-July, early July. I've been looking at a couple of keyword tools. And I'm going to show them to you. They've got some um, definite benefits to uh, TPT sellers. Anyways, wherever you are in the world, I hope you and your family are staying safe, being healthy, and we'll get you in that video or the playlist. See ya.